Overclocking is a lot of fun. You can push your hardware to the limits, competing with people around the world to see who's best, or you can try and push your computer just that little bit further to maybe take a playing a game from a slideshow to playable. However, before you get into overclocking, you need to have some tools in your toolbox for when something goes wrong and you have to figure out why your computer keeps on crashing. So before we run this, let's make sure we have some applications installed for stress testing. Simply go to, go go to the video description and use my link to navigate to Firmark, which you can download right here. Go to launch version 1.32.10 and go ahead and download from the Geeks 3D ser server. Open it up and click through the installer to install it on your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and create a desktop shortcut. Now go ahead and launch it. Set the resolution to your monitor's native resolution, mine's 1080p. Set it to full screen and start GPU stress test. If you run this for about half an hour and your computer doesn't crash, you should be good. When overclocking, I'd suggest you can do more like five minutes, and then if you get a crash, you know you need to dial back the clocks. If you're doing any CPU overclocking, you're gonna need a different tool. For that, we can use Prime95. Once again, go to the description, and it'll take you to this link. Go to the Windows 10 64-bit, download it, open it, double-click Prime95, select Extract All, the target file does not really matter. And double click this Prime95 icon. It'll say Windows protected your PC, but this is just because it's an unknown pun uh, publisher and it's completely fine. Now you can join GIMPs if you want, which is basically calculating more digits of pi or prime numbers, I forget exactly which, but we're just going to select just stress testing because we're just stress testing. Now there's a few different options here, but you should be able to just do blend. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now if I open Task Manager, you'll see that both my CPU and memory are at almost 100%. Running this for a few hours or two uh, should guarantee that your computer is stable, assuming it doesn't crash. If it crashes, you'll have to dial back your clocks and give it another go. One thing to keep in mind, when you're closing out of Prime95, if you just hit X, it'll actually keep on running the background. You need to go to Task Manager and end the task that way. It's not too complicated. Just open up Task Manager, find the task, I've already removed mine, but you can just click the CPU tab to look at the one that's using the most power. Right now that's 3D uh, Desktop Window Manager now. Click on it and click End Task right here. Now both of those previous ones were free options. If you want a paid option, you can often find 3D Mark, the full suite, for only a couple bucks when Steam has it on sale. Just go to Stress Tests, select a test that you want, I like running the Time Spy one because that's what I usually use for benchmarking, and click Run Stress Test. This will run for about 20 minutes or so, looping through the same sequence, and if it runs stably, you have a pretty high chance of your computer running fine in games. Now, to be clear, the stress testing is a very helpful tool, but it is not the end all and be all. There are, there's many times that a game won't actually run stably, even if the stress tests are completely fine. This can maybe be because your power supply is under spec, or there's just something that the stress test couldn't quite punish your computer hard enough for. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and go ahead and have fun overclocking with your new knowledge about how to keep your computer stable. Thank <laughs> you.